It's good to see you again. Something happened? Come on. Jeff will explain everything. He's Mike, about we're talking about the cornerstone of my platform. I'm not doing a U-turn just because Nightcore. No, I'm not I sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in so the ass! Nobody will bother us. What, bother us at doing what, exactly? You'll know in a minute. Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson. Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it. So I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. SSI is pretty small time. Why didn't you go with Arsaka or Militech? It's what was recommended to us. On the bright side, we're not dependent on any mega corporations. Said you passed out? That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea who you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss too. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Security look into this? Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. Intruder, take anything? Break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. This security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? No clue yet. Anyone besides SSI come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He did kill the last mayor. And the Poles do have him trailing Jeff. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. We could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment? Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Come on. Let me show you around. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Nightcorp, Biotechnica, Arasaka. 
So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, huh, that'd be the real victory. Jeff's office. Control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. Tight bites. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, this is Jeff's personal machine. I doubt you'll find anything on it relating to the break-in. Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? Hey, yours? Bullet holes. Cocked up. Someone tried to patch up the bullet holes. Probably. Department of Law at Asukaga, Berkeley. Classy. You and Jeff graduate from the same school? Must have been expensive. We were lucky. On full scholarships, funded by the Knight Foundation. As a chair. Wedding pick. Interesting backdrop. Blue roses. You sure? Roses in this picture look pretty red to me. Oh, of course, you're right. They Iron. Roses. I this Jeff's? Mm, mine, actually. But yes, that's the one Jeff used that night.
Broken? That happened to the screen a lot, or to any of the others. I don't understand. What just happened a second ago? Didn't see it? No. What? Uh, never mind. We're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. They violated our privacy. Sons of bitches! Under my own roof! Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This ends now. I'm not letting any more of those freaks set foot! Oh, my head. Something wrong? Security? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. meds. Intruder make a beeline here after Jeff tagged him? Talking to yourself again? More and more. Ever since this terrorist started stalking me. Weird hardware. What's it for? Connected to the wall-mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run. prehistoric but doesn't look older than a day saw something like this back in the war transmitters Militech was using them short-range UHF signal only travels line of sight but it can't be intercepted line of sight let's look around here, see if we can't spot where our receiver is camping out Got a vision on our receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. Transmitters within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. <sighs> There's a transmitter on the roof. Seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. Know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter, and I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Well, it could be. Tech they're using seems unconventional, though. Do you plan to check it? Yeah. About to pay him a personal visit. I'll wait here. 
Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine, I'll keep that in mind. How about we take the wheels, V? That van could give us a slip any second. Don't lose them, V. Oh, now you're interested. We could expose a corpo conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be corpo spies or who the fuck knows what. at politicians and see a curated display, but behind the scenes, it's all out war. Citizens don't choose their representatives. Then who? The key players, string pullers. They spy on all the paralysis, look for weak spots, blackmail, rig elections. They're taking us in the north side? It's cannon well, Johnny.
taking it! Pierced it, we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records. Vulnerability to neuroplasticity. It's some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. Mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Uh-huh. Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. Oh, this is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it. That's your suspect. Shit! They're wiping the data! We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. gonna want to sit down for this it's it's way bigger than we thought what is you're being brainwashed literally they've scanned your minds and now using some kind of conditioning to wait not on the hollow right i'll come by no you and i we need to speak alone i know a little ramen place in japan town sending you the coordinates Right. See you there.
Will you sit? Thank you for coming. Cozy little joint. Doesn't really match your style, though. But it's perfect for a one on one. Here we are, then. What is it? I. I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Relax. No need to rush. Ah. <sighs> Uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality, he seemed to be changing right in front of me, becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie, even his musical taste changed overnight. Once. I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something insidious. And not just with Jeff. So the whole time you knew what I could end up finding? I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. Haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. Find it strange you took this to security instead of your husband. I thought I was going insane. I wanted to see what was on the feeds first. There was nothing there, of course, so what was I supposed to tell Jeff? And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you? Try to blackmail you? They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this, ever. His life depends on it. You think if I tell him everything that he'll go and pick a fight he can't win? I don't just think, I know. One thing hasn't changed, Jeff's still a fighter. And he'll go down swinging. Huh. So how do we play this? I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. Truly prepared to fire SSI? After the threats? It'll be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Mm -hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the Paralysis' lives? Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. 
But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. Michael called. Before sundown. Out front of the Mega Tower. Gonna be there? Of course I will. See you then. Yeah? It doesn't matter what you tell him. It doesn't matter what you think of doing or do. You can't change anything. What? We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you want. You are playing with fire. Don't dare cross the line. Fuck. Hello, V. Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth, what did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more though. SSI wasn't working for Holt. You're in deeper shit than you think. Meaning? They're in your heads, Jefferson. Yours and Elizabeth's. Is this some kind of chuckle-worthy metaphor? Strange dreams, partial recall, jumbled memories. It's not just stress and long hours. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, but I don't think I like where this is heading. Wake up. Your brain's a mess. Messier than the discount section of a beady smut hut. Customize your perfect child or your favorite pet animal. I'm not paying you to make up riddles for me, so get to the point. SSI's on the take of some unknown group that's out to control your lives. You there. Have you taken your daily supplement? Remember, Somebody's programming you in your life. Focus and productivity. Sounds like something out of the movies. Saw your brain scans. They're tweaking your neural connections. This ain't no movie, Jeff. Been at it for a while with you and Liz. Editing your memories, your tastes, your views and beliefs even. How could I not have known about this? Your memories? Can't even trust those anymore. If that's true, I'll never know what's real in my life, and what's a lie, fabricated. Wait, the intruder. I have to find him! 
Got no idea how we go about doing that. First, I'll find him. Then I'll find whoever's behind this. Pull the curtain back on these motherfuckers and show them what's what. Worst thing anyone can do to a person is strip them of their sense of self. I'd fight back too. They've made me a winner. <laughs> and they're gonna regret that. For now, I'll let them think they're pulling the strings. Good luck. My god. I have to tell Liz! So what now? Still want to be mayor? Well, I'm not about to give up. I didn't run just to... Uh, I'll wait for my window. An opportunity. Then make my move. Isn't that exactly what they want? Well, I'll give them more than they bargained for. And same with the Aredis. Take care, V. Good luck. And good night. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So, aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who. What matters is that guy decided to take up the gauntlet. My man.